Hey, we're right outside of town. Really, this is uh, where the totem pole place was up here that moved. This beautiful building here, little house. This guy here. It's called the Martin Springs Store. It was built in the 1920s, and I just met the grandson of the owner of this property. She passed away about two years ago at the age of 95. It's a dairy farm. It had chickens and ducks and geese and all sorts of cool stuff in the back. Also sold gasoline. It had some rental cabins. Amazing. So the store was down here on the ground floor. People just drive up and they're 49 Ford right here, get some gas, go to the store and have a little conversation on Route 66 here. Yeah, it's beautiful. This building here, it's called the Spring House. They actually extracted water out of Little Beaver Creek. Out of here, they extracted water out of here and put it in little containers, sold it to the patrons or used it for little cabins. See that? Little spring house here. Water comes out. It's over to Beaver Creek. Take a look inside here. Our little spring house. Anyway, it's all dirty windows. Let's see if you can see that in there. This guy's fantastic. Built in the 1920s. Just imagine the little store here, sitting out here. Just selling your wares. I'm going to show you two more spots in the back here. Look at great furniture. It's definitely our Route 66 icon here. A couple years ago, a big oak tree fell. Smashed the back of the house. A little barn here. Check that out. I'm going to show you the outhouse up here. But you got to be careful because Lots of things fall down out here. Here's the outhouse. Check this out. Look at this. It's one of the cottages, so you can stay here. Right? And the whole roof on top there. See it all caved in? Right there. Big old uh, oak tree fell down. Smash this guy. Just crazy. Route 66 cabin. Chimney's up still. There's a little foundation for something else. It had an outhouse here, so you had to come out here to go to the bathroom. Out here in the outhouse. No trespassing today, but the owner said I'd take a peek in here. Anyway, we've got two little outhouses. Right here, we've got a nail that keeps it shut. Inside there is a little squatter. Oh my. How about this door here? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Now that is a beautiful outhouse. Holy smokes. Things clangs back and forth and the wind blows. So that is really cool. We're gonna head down the road. I'm gonna show you one more thing about Route 66 up here in Rolla that is just absolutely amazing. People don't know too much about how they designed the road. And uh, I just want to show you this guy here because it's the beautiful Martin Springs store from 1920 before Route 66 came by. And out here, they got the highway, just kind of screws up the romance of this whole road. Used to be a creek on the other side. You go fishing, get perch. But um, this is what you get today on our Route 66. We're going to head down the road this way. I'm going to show you that cool little structure of the road. Hey, I'm going to show you something really cool on Route 66 that people don't really know about. So here's our original road. Up there was the Martin Springs store. This is all a gravel road. 1926. In 1931, they paved it. They put this little curb structure in. See this curb coming up here? Right around the turns. It was a kind of experimental idea called a half curb. It comes up here on the edge of the road, kind of has a little half curb, and the idea was if a car starts to get in this turn here, it would naturally straighten out when it hit the curb. Kind of like a physical barrier to keep them from running off the roads. 
But the idea, of course it didn't work, what happens is you don't have power steering or these fast moving cars and your wheel gets up here, it actually flips the wheel and your wheel locks over to the right and your car flips over and it started having like tons and tons of crashes and this thing probably caused more damage than it did good. Lots of rollovers, accidents happened right on this roadway right here where it turns over to the left. And you only find this curb structure in a couple little places in Missouri. Anyway, it's a little engineering mistake that uh, caused a lot of damage. This car is flipped over on this little half curb. So down here, the road uh, meanders and makes a really hard turn right over a bridge. It's called uh, another dead man's curve. We'll look at that. Then head out of town.